Prometheus in 3D. Short movie review. Two scientists have discovered numerous very similar carvings on cave walls. Now, since these different people could not have been in contact with each other, this points to a common creator, basically. And, yeah, they, they it left a track, and they've now, you know, traced that, and the movie from that point on is about them exploring the planet that they found, which fits with the carvings. And, yeah, it's sort of a spiritual prequel to Alien. It is definitely not a remake, although it does, it evokes a lot of the same imagery. But it does also do something very interesting and compelling, somewhat, or a little bit of the time at least, with the you know, sort of alien kind of, yeah, I can't say too much about spoiling, but if you like Alien, if you, if you love Alien, or at least like it, you're either gonna love or hate this movie, and for basically the same reason, because it goes back before that and sort of, you know, sets up and explains some, but the main sort of theme what is really being explored here is th this idea of you know finding the the one who created you and you know sort of the, the meaning of life and this sort of thing and it explores that in a very smart way I think having us ponder why we why we want to know such things the acting is really great. You know, Nomi, no, Nomi Rapachi as the, you know, one of the two scientists. We have Charlie Theron as the Ice Queen, who, you know, basically heads the expedition. The characterization is really strong. You get a lot of, sort of, you, you really get a feel for these characters with almost nothing said, with very little interaction between the characters. You know, it, it very quickly establishes what they are like. The effects are phenomenal. This is definitely a movie to watch in theaters and preferably in 3D. It is not post-conversion. It is incredibly subtle. It just enhances the atmosphere. It is not gimmicky 3D at all. It is the least gimmicky 3D I've ever seen. Which, you know, zero percent basically. And the, the audio itself is also well worth you know, watching the theater for. It does use some of the same, th you know, kind of... It goes to some of the same places that Alien and Aliens uh, does. And some of that is a bit regrettable. It's, yeah, it's a very compelling horror thriller with some sort of action adventure scenes, and there's at least one scene in this which is very, very alien, but it's new, it's, it's different than anything we've seen in the other films in the first four, and that scene alone is worth watching the movie for. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, check below, it's there as a video response. If not, it'll be in the description box. I've reviewed other parts of this series, the links are in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.